Hello, everybody. How are you? This is Cheryl Abram, and this is my cyber training with Epiphany Channel. I know it's been a minute since I've been here, but um, I have no excuse. I just had to get up off my arse and make a video. All right. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, now, I have a lot of content. OK, there is a whole heap of stuff that, you know, that I want to share. But it's me, you know, just being able to put it together. Um, thanks to all of you who looked at uh, my previous video about re, uh, what do I call it? Re, what do I call it? Re-engineering cyber, something like that, y'all. Go look at the video, right? It's about totally revamping the way that we define cybersecurity and security. So I got a lot of stuff uh, that goes along with that. So what I'm putting together now is about predation, okay? And that's like a natural, the natural biological thing that happens when animals chase and kill other animals, okay? But I'm gonna use that predation model when it comes to consuming data, right? Um, yeah, we have predators and, and prey when it comes to consuming data, but that's not what I'm gonna talk about right now. This video is called Life After Security Plus. All right, so it's been four months. Uh, if you haven't seen my Security Plus video, how I passed the exam, uh, please go look at that. So it's been four months since I took the exam and passed it. So I wanna talk about how I'm actually using that information and the things that I practiced, okay? Now, first, let me tell you, the job that I have is in cyber policy, okay? I'm not a technical person. I'm not on the help desk. I'm not in a SOC, you know, none of that stuff, all right? I am with cyber policy, you know, writing and reading and refining and creating those, uh, those policies, okay, within the organization. Now, let me tell you specifically now what I'm going to use because if you go back to my video, you'll see all the sources that I used to study for the test. Okay, one of them was Jason Dion's Udemy course. Okay, so I'm going to use the outline of that course to tell you what you know what what I'm using right now. Um, so the first thing that's been the most useful for me, okay, in my cyber policy job, has been the terminology and concepts. OK, so I'm in an, you know, IT cybersecurity office. OK, this whole thing is is all they do. So that's what they're talking about. Like everybody in there is talking about those kinds of things. So the, the terminology uh, that I learned for Security Plus has really come in handy because I know what the hell they're talking about. OK, I would. I mean, you know, because they're all talking that way. So if I didn't know what they were talking about, it would, uh, I would be in a bad way. It would be really, really hard. Hi, Taurus. How are you? Thanks for being here. Um, it would be really hard, right? So that was very, very, very useful. Okay. So as you're studying for Security Plus, if you're studying for the test, you know, um, pay attention to that terminology, okay? Because people around you are going to be using that, like for real, for real. You know, the acronyms, all that stuff, they're going to be using. It. Okay. Um, and the tools. So the concept and the tools. So in, in Security Plus, they you have to study a, a whole bunch of different tools, right? And I've been noticing those tools being mentioned, okay, and I know what they're for. Okay. So make sure you pay attention to that. The other thing that was useful from Security Plus is the software development. All right. Again, I'm not developing software, but I am. Uh, working with policy that has to do with that, all right? So me knowing the software development life cycle, uh, you know, and all those things related to software vulnerabilities and all that, that, that you learn in Security Plus, that has been really helpful, okay? I'm, I'm able to, you know, when I'm reading that stuff, go back to what I learned there, and, uh, and that helps me understand uh, not even understand the whole thing, but I understand where I need to go for more information about something. OK, I know where to look, you know, because I know um, I know what I learned in Security Plus. So the next thing is just general knowledge of an information system. Now, let me tell you what I am noticing. Is that. When you say 
system, for, for, for instance, for example, when you say the word system, okay, you know what you're talking about. But I guarantee you, I guarantee it, that the people you're talking to do not have the same picture in their mind of system that you do, okay? So what I've had to do, and because I learned about, you know, what a general information, so Jason in his course, he talks about the difference between uh, information security and information system security, okay? So knowing how, wherever you work at, okay, find out what do you mean by information system, okay? What, what is the definition y'all are using for that? Now, something that I did because uh, to really help everybody just get on the same page, there's a tool called a rich picture, okay? All a rich picture is, is you draw what you're talking about, <laughs> okay? And that's all you do. So I got a PowerPoint slide. There was a policy that had to do with um, information systems. And I just drew it out, what, what the policy was saying, okay? To help all of us get on the same page. Am I right about this? Because I didn't, I wasn't sure if I was understanding it correctly, okay? So general knowledge of information systems was has been very, very helpful and will continue to be very helpful. Um, so the last thing that I wanna mention about life after Security Plus, the thing that's really helped me from that course is of course the policies and procedures. So you know, at the, at the end of the course, if you haven't seen it yet, Jason talks about the policies and procedures that you know you will likely see when it comes to um there are lots of jobs openings in my state and offering some of the job training and cybersecurity for worker retraining programs. I'm really thinking about going to an orientation. Yeah, go to an orientation. Seriously, go to an orientation, okay, because th this space is really blowing up. Uh, it, it really is. And I don't know if you know, Taurus, but this was a career change for me. I was in learning and development and HR, okay, as last year. <laughs> it's where I was, right? So I made a really quick, you know, turnaround and career change and just started studying and getting certs and all that stuff. But it's a lot of fun, okay? There's a lot of things to do in cybersecurity. And cybersecurity is, is not just about security, okay? There's a lot of other things going on uh, in that realm. So, you know, if you do have an opportunity to go to orientation, I suggest that you go. Um, so the policies and procedures, right, was really, really useful, especially the vendor relationships, okay? I am learning so much about one of the things that Jason talks about under policies and procedures. He talks about service level agreements, okay? I'm learning so much about that right now. And it's really exciting stuff. Like it, it really, really is, at least for me. Because <laughs> I like to write and do stuff like that. So it's exciting for me. All right. Um, so that that part of the Security Plus um, has been really helpful. And the good thing about Udemy is that if you buy a course on there, you know, you just you have it forever. So you can just go back and review, you know, some some well, I don't know if it's forever, maybe. Uh, you just go back and review that stuff you know, if you need to. Now, I also took and passed a CYSA in February, but um, CYSA is more SOC security operations center type stuff. And um, while I'm, you know, a lot of that stuff is useful too. <clears throat> I just wanted to concentrate on security plus because that's a much broader, you know, gives you um, much broader information uh, about security, okay? Um, all right, so that's all I have today. Um, and the next time, like I said, I'm gonna go back to, um, you know, looking at data, looking at us possibly owning our own data and looking at how we define security and how we need to incorporate human rights into cybersecurity and the work that we do, the work that we do there, okay? There's some really, really, really interesting stuff going on. And I think I wanna add a new segment as well so that we could find out, because one thing that I tell the people that I speak to and train 
is one way that you can learn, okay, in order to get all the information you need to become familiar with the, the topics, whatever certification you're studying for, Network Plus, Security Plus, A Plus, whatever, CCNA, SSCP, all that, all the alphabets, okay? One of the things you can do is read about what's happening with that thing, okay? If, if you're learning about VPNs, pull up some new story about VPNs, okay? You know, uh, if you're learning about malware, I promise you there's a lot of stories right now you can just pull up on Google to see what's going on with malware, okay? Who, you know, what's been infected, who's coming out of something, blockchain, all that stuff, okay? So I wanna have a, a, a short news segment in here so we can talk about some of those things to really help us learn, learn more, learn more about it, okay? Um, but you're younger and I am older. Uh, I'm gonna be 45 next week, okay? <laughs> Uh, you're not going to be the only, and even if you are, that's okay. Okay. Change, you can change careers anytime from education. To years. Oh, see, look at that. I'm going to watch the rest of your cyber. Oh, thanks for us. Okay. But yeah, 50, that's not, girl, that's nothing. You, you a baby. <laughs> All right. 50. I mean, that's a, the, I saw this list recently about people who were over 40 who had uh, changed careers. I'm gonna find that. I'm gonna find that list and I'm gonna share it on here, okay? Over 40 years old, some people were even as old as 65 and they changed careers, okay? So, you know, life is not over after your 30s or 20s or whatever, okay? So if you feel like the reason why I did it, you know, I felt like it was time for me to learn and grow. You know, and I, I was just too big for the space I was in. It gets like that sometimes. You just get too big for the space that you're in. So, you know, age really isn't a, a, a factor in that. It's just the the capability and the, the desire and the courage to do it. Because it was scary, you know. It was scary, but, you know, you have the courage to do it. So go ahead and take advantage of that. All right. Thanks so much for being here. I am gonna to talk to y'all very soon. I won't be gone this long, okay? Because like I said, I got a lot of stuff to tell y'all. Okay, so um, y'all have a good night and thanks for watching. Bye.